Hey YouTube, it's Andy Z here. Um, so I'm uh, I'm out on the Oregon coast. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, I went ahead and um, found this piece of land out here on the side of Highway 101, in Southern Oregon. Uh, you can see that there's really nobody else around here, so great free campsite. Um, so a lot of people have been wondering sort of what I've been up to the last couple weeks. Um, so I'm just cooking a little bit of dinner here. We got shallots and actually I think the uh, sweet potatoes are ready to go in there. So for the last two weeks, I've been uh, on the road on my bike. Um, basically just living kind of I don't know, on the road. Uh, I've been picking up some vegetables and I've got some rice down there that I'm going to cook. Uh, so just, you know, spending a couple bucks a day on food and uh, cruising down the coast, stopping pretty much anywhere I want to and camping for free or sometimes camping at a campsite. And um, so, yeah, basically. I've been traveling for uh, almost for free and I plan to continue doing so for another two weeks or so until uh, I get to Los Angeles, California and um, just covering these up nice and steamed. Uh, and so I've been just setting up my tent, which I got at REI and I'm going to return it for full refund cash. That's how they do it at REI. And it's great way to get expensive camping gear and basically just lease it for free. Um, I, I kind of wrap my bike up underneath the rain fly like this at night to keep the water off of it. Um, and yeah, I've brought a couple changes of clothes and this this little modified tote bag thing which, which has served me really well. Um, which was made out of some shit I found at the Goodwill bins um, and just sewed together real quick into uh, just a bag for the front of my handlebars, basically. And I've got a little toiletries uh, kit with some shaving stuff, deodorant, toothbrush, floss. Flossing is really important. And then, uh, yeah, sleeping bag and a little sleeping mat. And honestly, that's that's pretty much it. And um, I've been living comfortably, taking showers at state parks and stuff, and, and most state parks will let you shower for free. Um, and washing my clothes every couple days at the laundromats. And uh, yeah, it's like, you know, millionaire lifestyle right here, honestly. Beachfront property, different beach every day. Uh, and yeah, so so like I said, two weeks on the road, uh, apart from a new bicycle chain, which I had to buy, which cost me about 50 bucks uh, for the chain and the lube and installation and everything, because I didn't have my tools with me, so I had to pay the bike shop to do it. But you know, apart from that $50, I think I've spent uh, easily less than 100 bucks on this whole trip, you know, which is like two weeks a hundred dollars on like food and other stuff that I need that's like how much I spend when I'm at home so everybody who says that it's expensive to travel um, you know there's ways to travel really on the cheap and uh, yeah to be honest with you I think this is I prefer this to sitting in a car all day and staying in a hotel at night you know I'm I'm out here kind of on the coast I mean it's like what more could you ask for? So uh, anyway, hopefully it makes a little more sense to uh, people. Oh, got to check on my rice. Oh, shit. Hopefully it makes a little more sense to everybody just what I'm doing out here and, uh, you know, why I. Oh, shit. Why I don't cook with uh, one hand. Um, yeah, why I decided to take five weeks off of work to do this is because. Uh, shit, it's fun and it's great, great way to spend your time. I think 
I think doing a trip for as short as a couple days is worth it if, if you get the chance. It's, yeah, bike touring is really great and it's a, a cheap way to do it. It's fun, get good exercise, you get to see the, see the scenery and stuff and uh, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later when I get back to Seattle in a couple more weeks. Peace.